The interesting thing about Some Other Time, the title of which I've already referred to elsewhere, the interesting thing was that we tried two different kinds of vocal on it. Uh, one was an artist that I'd heard uh, in Cabaret called Peter Straker, who was uh, uh, an electrifying performer to see live. And we got Peter in and he, he tried uh, a vocal which worked in certain bits and didn't work in others. It was one of the problems that you often had in the studio because we recorded the the backings often without any idea of who was going to sing it we had to take a guess at what the proper key would be and it didn't always work so we tried it with Peter uh, who was uh, a man who sung with a very uh, soft feminine tone in his voice and so then we thought, well, if this hasn't quite worked, what should we do? And uh, I remembered uh, a singer that I had uh, met some time before called Jackie Whitram, who was almost the exact opposite, who, who, was, who was a girl who sung with tones which were actually very uh, bassy and masculine uh, in terms of the delivery. And so we tried it with Jackie, and then we realized that uh, if we used the same problem, uh, some bits of the song were good, uh, some, some didn't work. But uh, we realized that if you combined the two, you had this kind of androgynous uh, lead singer made up of composite parts. And uh, many people never realized that uh, the verse is sung by one and the chorus by another. <laughs> 